But how did it happen, that idea of Paul Pogba, the negotiation? Can you explain a bit the backstage of Paul Pogba? He said, actually, it's quite easy. We were around that table when we were speaking about the strategy of Mercato and so on. And one of us said, Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. A different video today, instead of going into the Italian and international papers to see what they are saying about our beloved Juventus, we will actually listen to Maurizio Arrivabene, managing director of Juventus, what he has to say about Juventus. Paul Pogba, De Ligt, pay attention. There is Dybala, a lot of names has been talked about, but most important, what about Juventus? The structure has been talked about, entertainment, supporters, what he's considering supporter or not, but also the Juventus as a club on the sporting side, but also off the field. Guys, a lot of words has been said by Yairi Bene. I saw already some translation from the article, the interview of our good friend Guido Vassiago, that is the director of Tutto Sport, partial translation, some parts, the one that is and are interesting, some people that are translating, some things are correct, some things are missing, some completeness, to be really complete and to understand the way and how Arriva Bene said it. I am not here to tell you, yes, Juventus is right, yes or no, Juventus is wrong. I am not here to influence your judgment about the strategy of Juve, but at least to report you the correct words from Italian to English. Before you start speaking and asking me, Beppe, we want to know about the Mercato, who will arrive? Di Maria, Zagnolo, Bremer, who will replace eventually De Ligt if he leaves? I recommend you don't wait any longer. Download One Football. it is for free for iOS and for Android. You just have to do a click on the link in the description or with your mobile phone scanning the QR code that is here on top. It's super, super easy to do. Download it because they are reporting every single thing in real live the video will be longer I don't know how long so maybe you will miss some information and when you have the notification you can go immediately with the app are you ready it can be a long video it can also be a video where I will miss sometimes some tempo there will be a lot of different parts we start immediately you can skip to the parts that are interesting you of course but if you are a Juve fan and you really want to understand it this is the video a really interesting video for you to understand where where we are going to. The first question of Guido Vaziago is about the new Juve. What and which new Juve can fans, tifosi of Juventus, expect? And you have immediately an Arriva Bene, that is the sporting director of Juventus, that absolutely knows, and all the interview you will find an Arriva Bene like that, that knows how to go from point A to point B. I compared him a bit like Federico Chiesa when he's taking the ball in the middle of the field and going directly towards the goal. Do you remember this kind of Federico Chiesa that we are missing? These kind of goals of Federico Chiesa. This is Arriva Bene without dribbling too much from point A to point B. And the first answer to the new Juventus saying, but there is no new Juventus. It's still the Juventus that we all know. Of course, we know that, but we will continue with the famous quote from Boniperti that was saying vincere non è importante è l'unica cosa che conta winning is not important it's the only thing that matters absolutely we continue with that but we will give it also some continuity the word continuity is important underline that word continuity to reach these high levels of what we are expecting of Juve guys three full pages total Juve a Juve that is not only thinking about a winning project on the field, but also a Juve that wants to be global. Global, the world, super important. So there is no new Juve. We start and we continue to work on the sporting part because the sporting results on the field are essential for a football club. Without wins, without trophies, you can't compete at high level. This is impossible. So we are working towards that. What is he talking about? Of course, Mercato, of course, players that will bring Juventus 
on that really high level on the field due to their skills, but also due to their names, to, due to some appeal. And yes, we are already anticipating the name of Paul Pogba. But Juventus also needs to grow as a brand, something that we started, but at the moment we didn't reach the full potential of growing Juventus as a brand. Speaking about streetwear, apparel, the beautiful collaboration with Adidas, but also in a marketing part, using all the different platforms. And this is going towards entertainment for different generation of people. And that's what when Guido asked him where will you actually work on this entertainment, he said entertainment is super important, not only locally in Italy, but also abroad because we want to become more and more a global brand. We already reach a lot of capacity on the Italian floor, on the Italian country, but we also have so much potential in the world. Guys, between the lines, if I opened a channel and I wanted and I decided to speak English, it's for the same reason. So many million Juventini in the world that yesterday Luciano Moji was speaking in an Arabic speaking space that was fantastic. That's what Juventus also wants to do. Going wider in the world but how will you do it and he said guys there are so many things that we can use Juventus first team under 23 Juventus women so many stories to explain that we can do in diverse formats like a podcast that we already have but also different platforms like Twitch where I am at the moment until today the host from let's see if we will extend together like uh, De Chilio or not let's see that but there is Twitch there are YouTube platforms there are videos there are social media where you Juventus really have to expand and do more and more. So expect from Juventus in 2023, but also in the future, more presence online in a diverse way of communicating to also entertain the people. Is that project of going to entertainment and going also wider something to survive? That was the really interesting question of Guido. Are you trying to survive? And here you have immediately an Arriva Bene Maurizio that is stopping uh, Guido and is telling him, no, Juventus, I can reassure everyone everyone. Yes, there are some financial things that we have to discuss in a moment because he went also in depth there. It's important for the supporters to understand it, but he said, we are not surviving. We are living. Juventus is living. I can reassure everyone. Surviving is a disaster situation and Juventus doesn't need to do these things to survive, but to increase the revenues, to increase also the appeal and the visibility in the world. There were some changes in the structure in the last years. Can you explain a bit? And Maurizio Arrivabene said, absolutely. My role as a managing director is crucial and important. What am I doing? So that people know when they are asking, what is Arrivabene doing? Is he the guy that is negotiating and going to do the Mercato? Actually not. His role is to put a strategy. The strategy that we just talked in that first part of the video to expand the brand, but also looking really on the field, because don't forget, that was the first thing that he spoke about on the field result. That's the strategy. He is the boss of the different areas, sporting, marketing, legal and so on. A new figure is also coming in that structure. We are speaking about Francesco Calvo that was already at Juventus in the past, already collaborated at Philippe Maurice together with Arriva Bene. Why? Why is he important? Because together they will make sure that the strategy that they have put on paper will also gain some velocity, some speed, but also to make sure that it's working and that the results are seen by every supporter. What about Cherubini? He is the boss of the sporting side. They are working, of course, course together Arriva Bene said I am there in a supporting role so that means I will challenge him I will come in his office opening the door with a crazy idea and then we will start speaking about how are we doing Mercato we are doing it around the table it's not Allegri it's not Cherubini it's all of us we go into a table and we have diverse opinions there are some people he didn't mention the name that want to buy everyone every single player on the earth they are the other ones that are a bit more more conservative, saying pay attention, we can't buy everyone, but together with Allegri, with Cherubini, with Nedved and with a lot of other collaborators of parts of the team, they are taking a final decision to go on the market. And that's what Guido said, speaking about Mercato, can you explain us a bit about 
Paul Labille Pogba. Where are we with Paul? I love that question because here you have a big spoiler. A big spoiler? Guys, it's not Netflix, so you can continue to watch the video after you putting a maximum of like and subscribing to the channel. What about Pogba? And that's where he says, guys, about Pogba, let me read it in Italian, it's beautiful. He says, gli stiamo parlando e le cose stanno evolvendo molto, molto bene. We are talking to him and the things are proceeding really well really well he said it two times probably and i can't see it but probably with a smile paul pogba juventus is a done deal said by Maurizio arriva bene we can put all the stress away and that's where they continue but how did it happen that idea of paul pogba the negotiation can you explain a bit the backstage of paul pogba he said actually it's quite easy we were around that table when we were speaking about the strategy of mercato and so on and one of us said Let's take Pogba back. Why can't we just take Pogba back? And that's where we spoke with Cherubini. And also the financial part is super important. And they started to speak about it. And they found a way to bring Paul Pogba back at Juventus. Today, we are looking also to have some players with international appeal. That's super important for the commercial part. So... Arriva Bene is not scared to use also really important words. And when Guido is asking him, is Paul Pogba only a commercial deal? So to grow the brand, he said, absolutely not. I want to stop immediately. Paul Pogba is not only a commercial deal. First of all, we are speaking about on the field result and skills. And then we see also that beautiful result. We are going towards slowly towards the Paolo Dybala topic and then to the Delic topic, super important because there was a question about the salary. Is there a roof in salary? What kind of decision is are there present in the strategy of Juve and that's where he started explaining actually that with Covid there were a lot of losses 75 80 million losses because museum was closed because of all the extra activities that were not able to be used like a stadium and so on he said pay attention we are still in that middle of a financial crisis Juventus is not 100% out just to give you an example Douglas Costa will still be in the books of Juventus in the next season so don't expect in July 2022 when we will close the books when we will open the books and speak about it publicly because we are on the share on the stock market to see beautiful things we are going towards a beautiful future but at the moment don't expect to see great things so this is also important for the supporters to see it's not because of the 400 million capital increase that now everything is okay that we can buy every single player on the world attenzione speaking about salaries and speaking about Paolo Dybala for example he never gave a number he never said yes our roof is 8 million 9 million 10 million there is no roof or at least he didn't spoke about it but he said we are taking everything into consideration there are of course some moments where we have to take some decision Paolo Dybala was for example one of them we had to take a decision because we are pairing the cost in salary that we are investing and then also the technical part the injuries and all these kind of things does it make sense to continue with a player or not referring to Bernardeschi to De Ciglio that has extended to a Paolo Dybala they are taking everything into consideration he said and he admitted that there was a contract offer when there was the capital increase they took a moment to think about it and they agreed with the entourage of Paolo Dybala and Juventus to take a moment to think about it after making all the calculation they decided to took to take it back we're going towards the list and it's an important part especially about Mino Raiola because at a certain moment the question of Guido was uh, Maurizio what about the relationship with the agent he said I'm not really taking part of a lot of meetings with agent that's the role of Cherubini but I was attracted by Mino Raiola because he changed the way of uh, keeping relationships with the agents about how the agents are going towards their player and so on and so on he is a legend he was a legend because unfortunately he passed away he said I really wanted to meet him I did and uh, we, we had a really great relationship with Mino and myself really great but then he said do you remember when I was speaking in front of microphones and I said publicly that some players were more attached to their agent than to the club instead of listening to the club and the strategy that the club has for a player sometimes they are going more towards what the agent has planned for them well 
when I said that in the evening, Mino Raiola, he texted me to Arriva Bene, he texted me saying, you are a great one, sei un grande, where Arriva Bene replied also by SMS telling him, you, uh, maybe you didn't understand that I was speaking about you. And that's, a, and that's where Mino replied uh, last time, he said, I know, absolutely. And that shows actually that uh, Mino Raiola was super happy because it was something, his strategy that was working well. Going towards the Licht, and that's super important because if we are speaking about the fact that Maurizio Arrivabene was speaking about Mino Raiola, Mino Raiola is not the agent of Paolo Di Bala. He is the agent of Matthias De Ligt. He is the agent of Paul Pogba that was not in our club. The agent of a few players like Pellegrini, like Ken. Probably when he was referring that sentence that some players were more attached to the agent than to the club, we didn't know about it, but probably he was referring to De Ligt. What about the Ligt? Crucially important thing that all people were tweeting about, were speaking about. Matthias de Ligt, he said, well, we can't force a player to remain in a club. It is impossible. We can't. But before taking decision, before saying yes or no, the three involved part has to agree. We as a club, the player and also the other club that is interested in a player. So before that, before leaving the table with a big smile that everyone is happy, we still have to negotiate. So the Ligt is not out of the club at today. But of course, shocking big words of Arriva Bene about the Ligt saying that he can't force a player to stay. Big, big, big one. That's an important one to remember. The big difference with the past, of course, is he said, Maurizio Arriva Bene, but it's not because the player wants to leave that we can just go to him and say, yeah, of course, of course, we will make you happy. Go, go, no problem, whatever number. It's always a matter of numbers. And that's a big uh, difference with the past. Do you remember players like Matuidi stopping one year before going on, on a free Tevez, Douglas Costa, how many mistakes did we do in the past leaving these players leave for free for zero euro or some players actually selling for less than they were valued. Did the project of rejuvenation change? He said absolutely not. We are still continuing to think about and investing about young players like uh, Matthias Soule, like uh, Fagioli, like uh, Miretti, but these players, they need some leaders that are showing them the example. And if this year you will see probably some Paul Pogba or Di Maria and these are not the words of uh, Maurizio Arriva Bene, I'm giving you these examples, but the Pogba uh, Di Maria arriving at Juventus is also to show these young players the way. So we are going towards the story that I try to explain you that yes, Juventus will continue with these young players that we already have in our team, like Locatelli, like Chiesa, the big investment that we already did, but also these under 23 players that can grow looking at some players with some experience. We are going towards the end of the video with big words about supporters. The supporters, according to me, according to Arriva Bene, uh, they need to be supporters every time. You can't just be sometimes a supporter and sometimes not. As a supporter, you have to be consistent. You can't say one time yes, one time no. If you are using Juventus to blackmail Juventus, to have some extortion for own benefits that are not positive, then you are not a supporter. Important important words if you are looking in the world that we are living with all the toxicity he's also speaking about the part of the people that were going into the stands and actually not singing because they were not happy because they didn't receive things from the president like tickets and so on and so on this is what he's speaking about or you're a supporter or you are not but you just can't be a supporter whenever you like to be a supporter this is not supporting a team no matter what fino alla fine the last two topics, Allegri, super important. He said it was not an easy moment for Allegri because we were in the middle of financial difficulties because we couldn't buy whoever we wanted and so on. We remember only Locatelli and he said he understood the project that we presented him. He said immediately, yes, I want to make part of it, especially long term. That's good. But he came in a situation where the team was absolutely not made and built for him with also the impossibility to give him that team. Now we are going towards a team that will look a bit more like Allegri want to. Super important. When the question is, will it be the Juve of Allegri said absolutely not. It will be the Alle the U it will be the Juventus of every single person that worked on it, from the management to the team. So speaking about Arriva Bene, Nedved, Cherubini, Allegri, they all had the same vision about the players they wanted to buy. There is a strategy. Looks like some people said there is no strategy. Juventus 
is not aware of what they are doing, he confirmed there is absolutely a strategy. We know what to do and we will create a Juventus that is looking and checking and tipping all the points that we put ourselves in that meeting, in that table. Then he continued with some Mercato voices that are really crazy because sometimes he's also saying, I'm reading and I'm listening to some names that are linked to Juve where we never discussed about these names around the table. So I go to, uh, to Carubini, we are speaking together. I'm asking him, Carubini, but it's true that we are linked to that player. And Carubini said, uh, he is re he's replying to him, did you drink? Did you drink something? Because absolutely not. We are not linked to that player. And then they make a laugh. So some names that are reported on the paper also are absolutely not correct which one i have no idea the last part the goal of juventus in the future is to make juventus one what does that mean he would love that we stop calling juventus women juventus under 23 but we are talking only about juventus juventus as a whole whatever part of it is juventus that we are speaking about the apparel about the entertainment part about the stadium about the juventus women on the field about the under 23 that everything is called Juventus and that everyone is working and supporting that team that is Juventus. Beautiful words of Arriva Bene. He also spoke about Lega and Serie A and so on that were maybe a bit less interesting. Of course, he was speaking about Premier League where also there, there they have 600 pages of rules like the field that all the teams of Premier League, they need to have the same color of green of the field. Some things ages, ages far away from you, from from Serie A at the moment. Serie A has a lot of things to do. Guys, I really appreciated the words of Cherubini. I hope you will enjoy the long video. I hope there will be some speed, some flow, and that you will have the answers to your question. We will go live also where we will explain and where you will have some questions we can go and I can really explain you with the papers in my hand. We will try also to have Guido Vasiago, the director, on the channel so that we can speak together with him and we can ask him the question we want put a maximum of like i know it's a long it's diverse you don't have all the beautiful images put a maximum of like subscribe to the channel grazie e forza juve forza juve